So let's talk now about segmentation. Segmentation provides a additional address spaces within a process. So it allows us to have more than one address space. in a process. And in particular, what we often might have would be one address space for the code, another for data, and a third for stack. So our code starts from, let's say, 0 to n. Our data may be from 0 to m, and then our stack Right, and these are different sizes, possibly, from 0 to P. And then these code, data, and stack segments can actually be uh, put together in memory. So we might have the code segment placed in the memory here, the data segment here, and the stack here. So there'd be some relocation that would happen of each of those. What that would require then is for every segment a base and limit register. So we'd have a base and limit register that would be used to take the code segment down to here, a separate base and limit register to take the data segment to here, and a final base and segment register to take the stack to here. So for the x86, the way this works is whenever you're using the stack pointer, there's always implicitly a use of the stack base and limit register. Similarly, if you're using the instruction pointer, there's always an implicit use of the base and limit segment register. So there's actually a stack segment which tells what stack segment we're using, a code segment which tells what code segment we're using. And the way this is actually done is there's a segment table. It's called a current segment table. And there are entries in here. So if the stack segment has value 2, that means we'd look at index 2 in the segment table. And the values in here would be a limit. We'd have a base. And then we'd have some permissions, some flags as well. Um, so this was a natural progression after the um, idea of having a single base and limit register. So this allows us some more flexibility within our application. For example, um, let's say we need to make the data segment bigger here. How can we do that? Well, the way we can do that is we can move the stack segment to somewhere else and then increase the limit of sorry increase decrease the base so let me let me make that more clear i'm sorry so let's say we want to increase the size of the data segment well what we can do is take the code segment and move it up okay so this is now the new code segment that means we need to change this base register. So this base register now points to here instead of where it used to. We freed up some space for the data segment. And now then we need to just update the limit to show the fact that the data is now larger. So what are the pros and cons of segmentation? Well. One pro is we can easily share segments between processes. OK, 
Okay, that's handy, if, especially um, for a code segment, right? We might have multiple running Vim programs, but they can share the same code because that's actually read-only. And one advantage is we have no internal fragmentation because of the fact that we can make the segments exactly as big as they need to be to hold their content. So we don't need to over allocate them in any way. Okay, a con is we still have to worry about external fragmentation. Although segmentation can make it easier because of the fact that we can actually move segments around so they're not fixed in memory. So that is one way we can fix the external fragmentation um, approach. And then the, the really largest con is that the programmer often needs to be aware segmentation. And I'm necessarily not just the programmer, the programmer, the compiler, the linker, all need to be aware. So it's not something that, it, that they can be oblivious to. Um, I'll give you an example. If you have some C code, uh, let's say a function foo, Uh, and you call a, another function f with the address of bar. Well, this address of bar now all of a sudden needs to, be, since bar is on the stack, that means the address of the bar somehow needs to include not only the address, but somehow also the which segment this is in as well. So we would include the segment register. So that can provide some complications as opposed to having just a completely flat address space. 